Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here and spring is finally here. I was just saying to my wife, it feels nice to be outside with no heavy winter jacket on though. It is cold at night and it's a little windy today, but spring is definitely in the air. With that being said, it is April, which means it's time for another recap of all the construction projects taking place here in the Wildwoods. And so let's get started before we do. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my Patreons on Patreon.com. It's because of them we can do videos like this, which this video actually takes roughly about five hours to film every time we do it. So if you want to go ahead and support this channel, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. We're starting the video here at 4th and Ocean because behind me, this is the Harbor Light. And up until about a few weeks ago, this was the Harbor Light Motel. It is no longer a motel. A new owner bought the building and it's becoming condos. And for those asking, all the units actually already sold. So if you want to know if you wanted to buy one, they sold in one weekend because the price was just right. I mean, imagine you're a block from the beach this way and a block from the beach that way. Of course, these bad boys sold really quickly. Crews have been working since the day of this sale to get things ready. The outside of the building was actually ready to go. It was already painted. The doors are ready to go. Inside is where all the work is taking place as they're converting it from a motel to condos. So that way, when the new owners move in in a few weeks, they'll be ready to go. Anyway, today there's going to be a lot of videos and a lot of different projects we haven't hit in over a month. So get your popcorn and your drink ready and let's get rolling. We are now at 3rd and New York Avenue because you guys had so many questions about the North Shore and I want to tell you there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is they are working. The bad news is the opening day got pushed back a little bit. They were aiming to open for Memorial Day weekend, but due to a lot of issues, they announced just recently they're aiming now for the week of June 12th through the 16th. So sometime in between there, the site, if you just drove by right now, nothing really has changed. They knocked down a couple other walls. Just the other day, they laid concrete and they put some kind of structure down there, I guess maybe to get the supports ready. Hopefully in the next few weeks, things go vertical from this moment. Doesn't really look like that. But remember, they're saying June 12th through the 16th, so they still have plenty of time until this place is going to open. I'm really excited for it. I know you are too. I just wish it was a little bit sooner. Anyway, let's continue. We are currently at 15th and the beach because a lot of you guys have been asking me with the beach erosion going on and with no beach replenishment, what is happening to our beaches? Are we going to be able to enjoy the beach this summer? And to be honest with you, I really don't have good news. And I wish there was something I could tell you. Oh yeah, they'll bring in sand, they'll do this, they'll do that. But North Wildwood is kind of stuck in a really weird situation. Currently, you know, there's a lawsuit going on with the state DEP because we want to build a bulkhead right on the other side. You can see this massive cliff. This used to be a sand dune where the top of it used to be here. But because so many storms came through, it got completely cut down more than 50%. Now, to me, this is an emergency situation because right over here is the lifeguard station, it's the boardwalk, it's private property. And so North Wildwood was going to build a big bulkhead, just like how they did from 3rd Avenue to 12th Avenue. But the state sued them and said, no, you cannot do this. Well, that kind of makes this area a dangerous area because eventually what could happen is water could penetrate this. It could then go through onto the streets and cause probably millions of dollars worth of damage. So the city is trying to come up with a good way to not only replenish the beach, but also go ahead and put a bulkhead here, which they can't do at the moment. With that being said, because of so much of the beach, if you look down here, so much of the beach has been eroded away, our level is a lot lower. That means at high tide, the water is coming all the way up to here, and you can see where it comes up. It goes all the way up to here, meaning that twice a day, there is nowhere for you to go on the beach here at least between 11th Street all the way up to 16th Street. At high tide, you're not gonna be able to go here. And by this point, I know you're asking, but why doesn't the city do some kind of beach replenishment? Well, usually once a year, the city gets trucks, they get them loaded with sand in Wildwood, 
and they drive them down the beach. In order to do that, they have to drive in front of Seaport Pier and Surfside Pier. But because of the erosion, there's no longer a safe pathway to bring these trucks on the beach. You see, prior to this, they can drive in front of the pier and it's kind of like regular sand. And maybe once a month, a high tide would come in and the road they would go on would disappear. They would have to build it back up and continue. Well, now because of the beach erosion, that happens twice a day. And they're spending so much time every single day just rebuilding that path to bring the trucks down here, making it kind of pointless because it would take, I think the math I saw in there, it would take months just to get this project done. And the city is looking into other ways of doing this. They looked up regular trucks, but even then it'd be 20,000 truckloads just to get it onto the beach and it would still take months, leaving the city with the issue of not having any kind of way to replenish the beach. The only other thing the city can think of doing is dredging the inland, which right now legally they can't do. That's something with New Jersey's DEP, but they did apply to see if they can get some kind of special permits to do so. The issue is that probably will not be done this year, which means unfortunately you're not going to be able to enjoy this part of the beach. More than likely you'll either have to go all the way to the inlet, which always swimming from a lifeguard because over there there's some areas they don't have it, or go just south of 16th Street, which technically is north and south if you go by numbers. With that being said, I do have the drone. I'm going to put it in the sky, but I'm going to do another video for you, breaking this down a little bit more because it really goes into much detail of what the city's trying to do, what they can't do, and what New Jersey DEP is stopping them for. It's a lot of work. But for right now, here's a little bit of the drone footage. We will have an extended drone video for you in about a week, so be sure to follow me for that. Right now, let's continue to the next construction project. We're at 23rd in the boardwalk, or at least standing on the ramp at 23rd in the boardwalk, because there's a big update on what used to be the Hammock Inn, or the Quality Inn, or the Johnson Inn, all those other names. It finally has a name, everyone. It is Hotel Cabana Wildwood. And yes, I know you're saying, isn't it a motel? Technically speaking, yes. When the hallway is not in the middle and your door is open outside. It is a motel. So in a way, it is Hotel Cabana Wildwood Motel. But long story short, it's staying a motel. A lot of you guys were worried that it was going condo. It is not. And they're planning to open this place by May 18th. And you can see there is a lot of work still to do. They've got exterior painting. Inside, they started furnishing things. They're bringing in air conditioning units right now. They still have to do the lobby. They have to put up fencing. There is a lot they need to do in the next two months, but it's going to look great once it's done. And we plan on being there for opening day. So we'll be sure to give you guys a video of what it looks like on the inside. Anyway, let's continue. We are now at 26th Street and the boardwalk because look behind me. It's officially open and it's opened ahead of schedule. It was supposed to open today. I'm actually filming this video on April 3rd. And so we had planned to film this but they actually opened it last Friday. The construction company reached out to me and said, hey, give me the heads up. It's open. Everything's down. You can come and check it out. But then we had that crazy storm that rolled through. So we figured we'd stop by Monday anyway. And I do plan on doing a full video tour for you because I want to show you what it looks like underneath and what they did. But there is something I wanted to point out. You will notice that over here, on the western side of the boardwalk. It is fully open, it is done. This is the correct wood, the wood that was held over from the supply chain issues we had a couple years ago. But there's one thing I wanna point out. On this side, you'll notice that the fence is still up and boards are still missing. They still had an issue with supply chain, which means that part of the boardwalk is open. You see, the city wanted to make sure that anyone who wanted to be open for Easter could open, and so that's why everything on the west is fully open, meaning the boardwalk can open. These places still individually owned and operated, which means they can open and close anytime they want. 
But on this side over here, there really is no entrance to any stores except for a couple over here, which the city did make sure there was some kind of entrance to get to those stores. And I just wanted to show you what I was referring to when I said that these shops still have an entrance. They did put wood down. It's not the official wood just yet, but it's something that until this other wood comes in, that they're still able to get to the shops. They can open it, whether it's Quincy's, whether it's a surf shop here, or in a few weeks, a tram car, they can still get in and out on the other side. Now I do plan on giving you a full tour underneath and above the boardwalk with another drone video, but for right now, here's a little piece of that drone video. Let's get the seagull in the sky. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. We're done here in North Wildwood. Let's head into Wildwood. We are now at Skellinger and Pacific Avenue because the Seaport Suites, they're almost done. Look how amazing this is. And those asking where the bank was, it's becoming a parking lot for the suites and the bars are gonna be underneath of it. It's actually a pretty big parking lot. I didn't realize how much of they actually own. So they own this little corner here, and as you pan down the way, this parking lot in the back, which should be enough for this entire building and the bars that are going to be inside. One of the first things you're going to notice is that, yes, the sign is finally up, Seaport Suites, and just underneath of it, this is an LED sign, which more than likely is going to be for the bars underneath. But I really like the color scheme they have going on. This looks really nice. Here is the other side of the building. They have another Seaport Suite sign. And it looks like another LCD screen is going to be just underneath of it. The work is coming together. It will be ready to go for Memorial Day weekend. And we'll give you guys a tour inside once it's done. I also can't get over how big this lot is. I don't remember the bank being this big. Do you? It seems so much bigger. Anyway. Let's continue, we got a lot more to go. We are currently standing at Kelly's Cafe and this might be probably the last time we call it Kelly's Cafe because currently it's going through a massive renovation. It's under new ownership and it's becoming the Copper Dog. With that being said, you'll notice that some of the signs are starting to go and they already started redoing the entire building. They added in this new siding, which looks like wood, but it's actually not. They added in all of this work and on the inside, they completely gutted it. Everything has been ripped out, but we're being told it's keeping the same spirit. So I don't know exactly what that means, but we do know the owners are going to do a great job once this project is done. One thing I do have to say is the historic signs on the building are coming down. Some of them will be saved. So don't worry, they're gonna be saved. The Wildwood history is still gonna be here. Anyway, let me give you a quick little tour. This will probably be the last time you see these doors as they will remove these. And as we look down this way, you'll see inside everything has been ripped out and it's all brand new. Looks very, very different. Same over here. You can't really see too much though. Except weirdly enough, the floor is the same. And we'll continue down this way. This is that siding I told you about. It's not really wood. It's actually like a hardened plastic. But we're going to walk down here just for a split second. Looks like there's going to be a bar right here. And it looks roughly the same down at this end too. Woo, got really windy. Now, one cool thing is I never knew is that this sign up here used to move at one point. The arm, anyone remember that? Pretty neat, I never knew that. But this sign's gonna come down, it's pretty rusted, unfortunately. The patio is also getting work done. You can see a lot of work in here being done. 
We are currently at Taylor and Pacific Avenue because Mud Hen is working on their first hospitality property and it's coming together amazing. Remember, they're doing different cottages on the outside and they've rehabbed one of the houses in the middle and it's been several months. All the cottages are now standing and it looks like they're working on the inside of these buildings. These are going to be so cool once they're done. We're going to reach out to Mud Hen to see if we can get a tour before they open to the public because to be honest with you, they're so cute, they're so small, I kind of want to stay in one of these. But you can book them now, by the way. If you jump on Mud Hen's website on the right-hand side, hit Hospitality, and then you can go ahead and contact them. But these are going to be really nice. It looks like they just started building the pool over here. I'm going to give you a quick little tour. So this was the original house, and you can see they added a new siding. They actually made it bigger. They extended the house in the back at least, I want to say, 20 feet. And right now they're putting a roofing on this. This is one of five cottages, and you can see inside they just started working on the inside. It's been a couple more months to go, so they got plenty of time. This is going to be like the area for it looks like the pool pumps and all that, and this is where the pool is. It is so cool to see because I've only been seeing renderings of it, so it looks really, really nice. And uh, you can kind of peek inside a little bit and see they're installing some kind of kitchen right now. And one thing I thought was cool is that this is the original wall here and they wanted to make it look a little bit nicer so they added this brick. Great example guys. Let's uh, let's do this throughout the entire Wildwoods. I like this. And besides that, the only thing I have to add in is that these doors are gorgeous. Look at those handles. Mud Hen knows what they're doing. And we're going to walk to this corner to give you a view down the other way. It looks really, really cool. I really like this a lot. One thing to keep in mind is that while this project's going on, they're also redoing Pacific Avenue. So this road is closed. You can see all the work they're doing and they're laying new pipes. They're making everything look really good. And here's the other side of Pacific Avenue. At this point, it looks like they have to still rip this part up and maybe put the pipe down or maybe they're actually just finished up because they pulled this out of the ground. And here's Marvis, which they're almost done too. Let me know, would you stay here? Because honestly, I would. It's like a cottage community with this little pool, little grilling area. It's gonna be really cool once it's done. Anyway, we're almost done in the Wildwoods. Let's go check out what's going on at Starbucks up the road. We are now at Rio Grande and Park Boulevard because you guys are excited for the brand new Starbucks. And I would tone down that excitement just a little bit because not much has changed since our last video. Now, the one thing I have to tell you and let you keep in mind is that it's not a full-size Starbucks. A lot of people are assuming it's gonna be this big Starbucks. The, it's really a building where you can't go inside. You're either gonna go up this way through the drive-through and pick up your drinks, or you're gonna park in the parking lot and go to the window, pick it up, either drink it out there or take it home with you. So this building is quite small, really, it's only from about here to about here. So really, when they're ready to go, they're just gonna put that pad down. They already put in sewer. You can see the new caps they just installed about a week ago, and then build the building, and then they're ready to go. So could it be ready for Memorial Day weekend? Unlikely, I'm thinking maybe mid-June. So don't quote me on that, because I've reached out to Starbucks and they give me all these weird dates. But this is where we are right now with Wildwood Starbucks. The sun is starting to set, but currently we're at Bennett Avenue in Ocean to check out two motels. One is the Windward, because a lot of people are asking me questions about it. It looks like they have all the mattresses out here and they're throwing them away. They also took out a lot of the damaged stuff inside. You can see the refrigerators are coming out, mattresses are coming out, beds, anything that's burnt is getting thrown into these dumpsters over here. So it looks like they're keeping those bed frames. Not really quite sure on what's going on. Most of the stuff's getting trashed. I can't tell if they're looking to fix it up or they're getting ready to tear it down. I mean, this is extensive damage. This would all have to be removed. You can 
see. No work has been done back here. Still smells like it's burnt too. That's a crazy thing. So I'm just assuming that this one's gonna get torn down. Once again, it's just based on what I'm seeing here because everything's getting ripped out. Then again, if you're tearing things down, you don't rip out sinks and refrigerators. You just like kind of leave them. Because remember that this side over here was untouched. Yeah, it might have some smoke damage, but it's really over here, this side here, it has all the damage. So maybe we might see this open one day. Who knows? And now we're making our way across the way <laughs> to the beach house because it's almost done. You can actually see they added in these brand new signs. The metalwork on these are really, really cool. There's one there. There's another one over here. And they kind of go around the entire property. You can see some going this way. And of course, we have to check out the new sign because I think this sign's awesome. And this one is also starting to book now. So if you're looking for the summer, you can jump on their website and book a room for the summer. They did a great job. We are now done in Wildwood. We're going to head into the Crest to stop by a few other projects. And then we're going to finish because we only have about a half an hour of sunlight left. <laughs> and here's the update at the Madison Resorts. You can see the lobby has been removed and they started adding more rooms at the top floor. They started taking out the entire face of every single room. And you can actually see all the two by fours. They're installing brand new faces on there with new windows and new doors. You can see where the lobby is. As you can tell, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I mean, the crews, they have a lot of work ahead of them. They're supposed to be ready for Memorial Day weekend. Um, unless they're working every single day, multiple hours throughout the day, different shifts, I don't know how they're going to do it. It's, it's a lot of work. And we are at the last stop of this tour, and it's probably going to be the best place you're ever going to go down to here in the Wildwoods. This is Brandon's Pancake House and Ice Cream Parlor. The reason why I'm saying this is going to be the best place ever is because the owners of this restaurant wanted to build something special for their son Brandon that has autism. And so they built this with those with those kind of conditions in mind. In this place, once it opens, they're going to employ people that have autism and other kind of disorders so that they can get some kind of world life experience. And so this is going to open up this summer. We'll do other videos and articles for you because honestly, this is the greatest thing in the world. And I'm so excited that they're opening here in Wildwood Crest. Anyway, I'm Joey Contino and I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And if there's any other projects that I missed in this video, please let me know in the comment section. As always, I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye.